kick me forward all the way. Whoa! What's going on guys? It's your boy Avionics back with another action figure video. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I do put out quite a few videos throughout the month. In today's video, we are taking a look at a couple of new Fortnite Victory Royale series figures made by Hasbro. Now, um, both Condor and Lambro were both acquired through Amazon. Each were $24.99 um, a piece. I will have Amazon links down in the description below. Not sure if these are gonna come out in uh, Walmart stores, but the other um, action figures like uh, Metal Mouth, Funk Ops, Ragsy, Bush Ranger, those you can find in all Walmart right now. So um, these are um, a different wave. They might be wave three, because I do have some wave ones we're gonna compare to with like Ripley and Midas Rex and whatnot. So yeah, so we are gonna take a look at these guys. Let's take a look at Condor's um, packaging first. So we have a little window here. Um, of showing like the upper half of his body we got it includes his back bling his crafting um, items or objects uh, and then one weapon all right on the other side here we got nothing going on got the little hang tag and barcode and gibberish on the bottom and on the back we have a, a promo shot of the figure itself and again back bling the crafting weapons and the one weapon all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Lambro's packaging. So here we have a um, small window showing his little unicorn head. And then it shows a little preview of what comes with it. Back bling, weapon, and his crafting weapon. On this side, just a cut around view of the, the graphic. And then barcode, gibberish, hang tag. On the back, promo shot of Lambro. Back bling again, weapon and crafting weapon. All right, let's go ahead and open these two up. All right, we got both figures out and all of their accessories. So let's start off with Condor Unshackled. Um, this is the weapon that he comes with. He comes with the shotgun and a pretty accurate sculpt as far as video game accurate. And this is made of soft, pliable um, plastic. Uh, but it's uh, it's got a matte finish to both the colors, which are black and brown. We got the wood grain detail on the stock, and we have some detail on the pump handle. And um, so yeah, there's no actual trigger though. But um, I guess just so it's easier to put in his hand. And then his crafting tools are two red swords. Very good detail in these uh, swords that go with Condor as it has like four different colors, which is nice. So the blade itself is red. We got some serration going on and we do have a little, uh, I don't know what you call that, along the blade right in the middle, but the extra detail showing some depth of the, the blade. And then the leading edge of the sword is painted silver metallic. And then taking a look at the handle, we have um, the handle is like a dark, dark brown, maybe like black. Um, but And then we have gold right there on both ends of the handle. And then it's an enclosed handle. So it looks like um, it looks like it's red, but they, paint, they faintly painted some light silver metallic on top of it. So he's got two of these. All right, so here is one for his right hand and one for his left hand. And then his back bling, color matched with his... Um, apparel and armor that he's wearing. I'm not sure. It's a. It's basically um, a place to stow away his um, crafting swords. So which is really cool. So, but uh, taking a look at it, we got black and red. It's basically it, and then a hanging like buckle strap right there. So you can actually take both his swords, and then here's the peg that would peg into his back, and then. Put one sword right down in here, which is perfect. And then the other one, uh, let's see, you're gonna go like that direction. So there you go. So yeah, we can peg this right into his back. So let's take a look. So um, 
His cape is loose, but it has a hole in his back. And then a hole right through this, his uh, torn or like half quarter cape, whatever. But it'll peg right in just like that. All right. So let's go ahead and, and remove the back bling and the and the blades and take a look at the figure himself. So this is the unshackled version of Condor. Um, you unlock this um, version of Condor like a level 60 or something like that. So this is a different head sculpt than the default character of Condor. Condor is like just like a hood and you don't see his face at all. It's like hidden so it's all black. But there is the detail of Condor Unshackled's head. So uh, lots of good detail, primarily white, and then we have some gold trim going on. And then the one red eye with a uh, black socket. And then like around his mouth area, kind of looks like, I don't know, a mustache, but it's like a shiny gold. And then like um, like a gold detail right there down the strip of the, ma the face mask part. And if you go around back, you can see that he's got these like aerodynamic pieces to his helmet which is pretty cool uh, white and then the black part so it looks like it would actually remove but it doesn't actually remove okay so let's go ahead and pop his head off because it looks like you can remove his cape so let's take a look, closer look at the cape it's like a half quarter cape whatever but uh, this is pretty cool it's like, like four different colors so the the cape part um, where the collar is, it's like a dark uh, gray bluish, and then the front part, it's um, like like a charcoal black, and then we do have some red accent paint applications here. We got red, um, we got silver rectangles with a, a small red one. Kind of looks like a ranking system to me, you know, like a like in a, like a military um, faction or whatever. So yeah, you can actually remove this, and then let's, pop, let's check him out how he looks with it off pop his head back on so um, actually here's the neck joint we're dealing with we got a double ball joint really uh well actually a double ball joint here and then a joint right there at the base of the neck so that's pretty cool it's gonna add for some extra articulation all right so this is how he looks without his that cape of his kind of can you, uh, you can kind of see his the gap down here but i don't know it looks pretty cool without the uh that cape stripped down. He's going to obviously articulate better at the arms with it off. But yeah, for display purposes, probably just put it back on. But yeah, speaking of articulation, let's take a look. So his head's going to rotate all the way around. Okay. Now being that this is like a really, like three points of articulation at the neck, he can look down pretty good and look up pretty well. And then he's going to be able to tilt all the way around like that. Arms, we have a lateral joint right there, all the way around. No bicep cut, but they do have it swiveling at the elbow. So we have, it looks like single jointed elbow, and then it swivels at the elbow, and then full rotation at the wrist. Condor's right hand articulates um, up and down at the wrist to be able to um, aim his gun or even kind of aim his crafting weapon and the left hand pivots side to side with a side to side swivel now he's got this armor going on which is really cool oh yeah you know what we're not done taking a look at all the details of the figure um so he's wearing this black chest armor which is really cool it's very techy and future like and it actually you know like that hanging strap buckle it, it goes with the hanging strap buckle of his back bling. But that's a really cool looking detailed um, chest armor. And it looks like he has like a, a pouch here, sculpted pouch. So it's black with some red and some silver. He's actually got two pouches right there. So that's pretty cool like for like ammo. Looks like it's for uh, some magazines. But then around back. So yeah, this looks really cool. It's a really cool looking unique figure. Obscure, you know. I mean, uh, I love me some obscure figures. And then here is the paint and sculpt of this section of his body. The pant, the pants and the armor look great. Look at that. 
like these look like um, they're loose oh they are loose yeah so that's pretty cool and then it's like a gold same symmetrical design on the other leg and then his knee caps right there and then um, a lot of these Hasbro Fortnite figures they look like they have weak ankles just because they are skinnier right there but compared to like Jazzwares where, where their boots are just like kind of stocky but um but yeah but there's a sculpt of the boots all right let's go ahead and get back to articulation we jumped ahead a little bit but um he does articulate at that upper torso so it's not all one piece that chest armor so that's pretty cool so he can rotate and swivel just like that forward crunch back crunch and he does he have uh no okay he does have waist articulation right there all right legs they go up pretty far and do splits really good and then um kicking forward all the way oh well 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 condor but you know these hasbro figures are pretty durable um but i mean if you look at the socket it's got a lot of room so nothing broke it just popped off the ball joint which is no big deal pushed back in kind of surprised though you know from a hasbro figure that it would just come off that easily you know because it, it moves like this pretty smooth and buttery you know so but um yeah kick forward back we have a thigh cut going on right there we have double jointed knees now these are uh, pinless articulation at the elbows and the knees so there is condor's knees and then we do have a boot cut right there and then ankle back rocker forward rocker back and then the swivel it does swivel does it swivel at the ball here it does okay and then this one they do have um peg holes for stands all right let's take a look at lambro and his accessories here's i'll put this back over there with condor so the weapon that lambro comes with it looks like a grenade launcher um pretty uh, cartoon or not cartoon video game accurate so this is pretty cool looking you know um, they're not so much realistic looking, but it could still pass Like if you want to match these up with Joe's, especially that shotgun, you know, give it to Flint. But yeah, so this is a primarily uh, gray in color. We got a black painted handle, and then we have some um, that light aquamarine that we see on Lambro on the actual weapon. So I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that's actually video game accurate as to, or is it, they're just matching it to him but I mean you can use it with any of the other figures got a nice little handle here for him to carry it uh, besides holding it at the handle uh, the grip no trigger and then we do have a foregrip in the front and then an over exaggerated uh, barrel so that's a pretty cool uh, looking weapon and then his crafting weapon is a huge <laughs> unicorn bashing tool so and basically it's his head you know lambro's head uh really cool looking though i mean it's very funny looking great paint application different colors and then the handle of it right there pretty cool looking and then his back bling his backpack back bling looks pretty cool so there's the peg okay it's primarily white and it's you know obviously it matches his uh, gear his jacket his vest so it looks like we have a flashlight here in its little pocket, but it doesn't actually come out. We have some like rope kind of hand, uh, hanging there and it's actually painted um, against the white. So it's a nice contrast. We got a little part of the like the um, strap, which is nice, painted separate, kind of soft. Um, and then we have some climbing, it's like a climbing tools back bling. So, uh, oh, this it looks like a water bottle paint matched with his jacket and everything and then a uh what is that it's like a uh i don't know some kind of climbing tool looks like but it doesn't actually come these don't actually come out but they are soft and pliable so be careful not to break those off so yeah that's a pretty cool little back bling and you know pop it in his back right here and the peg hole like so and there you go oh get it in all the way might have to warm up oh there we go okay 
So that's how he looks with his back bling on. Pretty cool looking figure. All just the colors itself, you know, besides the unicorn head and everything. So, uh, so yeah, so there's that. Let's go ahead and remove that. And actually this shoulder pack is actually loose and removable. So it looks, I mean, it, it looks like it's removable. You just have to kind of finagle it off of him somehow. Probably easier if you go down like that. There you go. So yeah, so let's take a closer look at this. His shoulder bag. All white, no extra painted details on it, but it's pretty cool that you can remove it. And um, so let's go ahead and put that back on him. Actually, no, I can't beat him up. <laughs> All right, so taking a closer look at the rest of the figure of Lambro himself, here is his head sculpt. So the mohawk is, um, you know, it's a lot more detailed compared to his crafting weapon, you know. So you actually see some, like, uh, looks like you're supposed to actually see some hair, which is pretty cool. But it's like pink and rainbow colors all around. And then obviously his the skin tone of his head is that light aquamarine or whatever. The uh, the rain straps are actually purple on his head compared to black on his crafting tool. Got some big googly eyed eyes, and then his it's like muted gold painted horn right here. And then his mouth, which looks like it articulates, but it does not. That'd be cool if it did. <laughs> Just a little added extra feature that would have been cool, but not com no not a complaint. And then um, his jacket, it's like very, it looks very like a, very much like a winter vest jacket with um, like this hood. So it's red, hot pink, violet, indigo, blue, and that, that light aquamarine. I don't know what you call that color, but if you, if you know that color, go ahead and put it down in the comment section. And then underneath his vest, he's wearing a white, it's like a white uh, liner, sleeves, whatever shirt underneath. He does... There's a pouch sculpted on his right arm. There is a, some texture. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is some texture going on. And then on this side, he does have this painted on his left arm. But yeah, there is a texture there. And then even like on the, the strap of the sleeve has some sculpt to it. And then going down to his pants, all black pants, uh, very util utility-like with a utility belt. It's like a cargo pocket. So they're like kind of like cargo pants. Um, he does have some sculpted pouches and whatever those are along his belt, but the belt is the same color as the pants. And it looks like it's basically like cargo skinny jeans, black, but yeah. And then going down to his ankles, skinny ankles again, but um, he's got like these uh, boots of some sort. They kind of look like sneakers, but they're they're high top sneaker boots, whatever. Painted the same color as his uh this aquamarine and then the top of the shoe i don't know if that's top of the shoe or his like the color of his legs like brown but then at the bottom of the shoe is the same it looks like it's the same color the sole and then we do have peg holes on the bottom for stands all right let's take a look at our oh and his hands are just the same color black as his pants they look like more look like gloves black gloves so yeah let's take a look at articulation so it is going to rotate somewhat not all the way because of the collar of the jacket um looking down looking straight i guess so he can't look up but he can tilt let's check out the uh the joint we're dealing with so it's a it's a single ball joint right there all right pop that back on arms up all the way like that it's gonna rotate and then bicep cut here on this figure and then more pinless articulation at the elbow and elbows and knees we have double articulation at the elbows lambro's right hand also pivots up and down for aiming of his weapon and then his left hand pivots side to side as well just like condors and then we have the same upper torso cut like condor there um and then so forward crunch not so much back crunch a little bit yeah so it's gonna rock back and forth like that we do have 
articulation at the waist all the way around. Let's see if his legs pop off trying to do the splits. No, but it doesn't go as far as Condor's. Um, looks like the, the hole for that hip is smaller here, much tighter tolerance. So he's going to kick forward as far as that goes. Back to, before it hits his butt. Then we have a thigh cut right there. And then double jointed knees. Once again, pinless articulation, which looks great. And then um, we do have like the boot cut right there. And then hinging all the way back. Look at that. That's a pretty good hinging range right there. And then all the way forward. And rocker slash swivel like so. So there is articulation for both of the figures. One other thing I forgot to show you guys before we move on to scale comparison with other Fortnite action figures is Condor without his cape but with his back bling on. Forgot to show that. So let's get that attached to his back. Feels like there's too much of a, it's too, feels like it sits too far. Maybe just because this is gonna add that extra length. But um, here is Condor without the cape. If you wanted to have him displayed without the cape or posed without the cape, that's how he looks. All right, so now let's go ahead and move into the scale comparison section of the video. All right, so here they are with Metal Mouth and The Scientist, which is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Here they are with Jules and Sky, and then here's Ripley and Midas Rex. And then here they are with Hasbro's Shadow Meowsels, and then Jazzwares Default Meowsels. Here they are with some Marvel Legends figures. We got Hercules and Tigra. Now, I did forget to mention that um, all these Fortnite figures from Hasbro, they are on the 112 6 inch scale. So we're comparing with other 6 inch scale figures. And then there is Spider-Man Miles Morales and MCU Captain America. And here's how they look with some G.I. Joe classified action figures from Hasbro as well. We have the Alley Viper and the Bat. All right, so my final thoughts on um, Condor Unshackled and Lambro. Well, if you're a big Fortnite gamer and you collect toys and action figures, then you're definitely going to want to pick these guys up. And also, if you already collect Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series figures, these are going to go well. Um, Jazzwares had not made these two um, characters into figure form yet. And, you know, for me personally, I played Fortnite for a little while. I'm not a big Fortnite gamer but I love the way that um, Epic Games and you know how they create these cool looking obscure characters and then seeing them in action figure form, especially in six inch action figure form. So they go along with my, primarily my entire collection because I, all I collect is 112 scale and I do have some 110 scale like WWE and like NECA, but I love how these figures look and you know Hasbro, they knock it out of the park with detail sculpt and articulation. So this is a line that I am collecting along with Jazzwares Fortnite figures. So I do have a Fortnite display of my own. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you plan on picking these two action figures up yourself, let me know down in the comments section below and your thoughts. And also once again, Amazon links are in the video description. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future reviews like this. Thanks for watching guys.